Hey everyone, Shikari Dill here, and today I really want to just kind of dive in deep and talk about something that's huge for the private server scene. We haven't seen this much innovation in the private server scene in quite a long time, and of course I'm talking about TurtleWow's conversion of World of Warcraft Classic into the Unreal Engine. This is such a big deal, I can't overstate the technological marvel, I guess, is that the word to say? I don't know. Maybe that's over dramatic, but seriously, that's what it feels like as somebody who's a fan of classic, who's been on the classic server scene for my, you know, a long time. I've been on the private server scene for many years, and I can honestly say this is one of the biggest jumps in innovation we've seen in the server scene in quite a long time. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the video now. I'll go through it. You can skip past this if you've already seen it, but I'll give you my thoughts as we go through it. And I will talk a little bit about it afterwards and what this means for the private server uh, industries, so to speak. So let's jump right into it. So they got a nice little custom trailer. You get some tidbits right off the bat. Looks beautiful. I love everything. They have their own custom content as well in the actual server. On top of all this cool, like, technical stuff they're doing. But why settle for the technology of the ancients when the future awaits? The future awaits. Welcome to the dawn of the new age. Yeah, the that's what I'm talking about. The legacy. Yes. Here we make the magic happen with just a sprinkle. They sure do make the magic happen more than they do with more than Blizzard does. Let's be honest. Possibilities. Blizzard we wish they made. Well then, Blizzard wishes they yourselves. could make the magic that Turtle Wow is doing right now. Revitalized for the modern era. Turtle Wow. Woo! Turtle look at that, boys. On modern devices, ensuring an immersive high performance experience. that is just crazy it looks so nice and for those special few oh, who cherish the original this is the breath of fresh air i'm looking for new, in classic we've got you both covered total wow 2.0 offers a choice between the beloved so you can still go back to the legacy mode powered by dynamic shadows superior texturing and more thanks to the Unreal and the modern engine. mode okay there it is even our Android loving friends can that join looks so phone. nice. You can even play from your phone Grace now. That's crazy. With full okay. Support and ground. I mean, they're doing so much innovation. Allowing us it's crazy. To expand the world like never before. Absolutely insane. Enhanced with robust anti cheat. Measures, anti cheat. Okay, Wild Blizzard, take notes. Blizzard, take notes. Tools Unbelievable. Guaranteeing a fair and immersive gameplay. Fan made experience. expansion, Mysteries of Azeroth. That is their expansion, which you can play right now on Turtle Wow. That is all custom content Dying right now. Into a vast world of new stories where every turn brings discovery and excitement. The journey awaits. Dude, I cannot Very wait. Familiar, but exciting and new. Exciting and new, indeed. <laughs> Turtle Wow 2, Mysteries of Azeroth. They're literally calling it Turtle Wow 2 because it's such a huge leap forward. And there it is, guys. So really, this is kind of the biggest innovation we've seen in the private server uh, scene in quite a while. I mean, we've seen a lot of crazy rules, bending of the rules of WoW, uh, Ascension WoW, we, we already had custom stuff in Turtle WoW, and seeing custom content in private servers isn't anything new, but this is a step above that. This is a technical challenge to bring WoW into a modern light, especially classic WoW, with a new graphics engine, and basically just an entire fresh new coat of paint. Um, this is gonna bring a lot of eyes. This is gonna bring a lot of attention. If you go through the YouTube right now, we've already gotten, like I said, Asmongold, Sfan TV, a whole bunch of creators, big creators, and 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 who play retail WoW, actually looking at this. And this could either be good or bad. I mean, we've already seen Turtle WoW take down the trailer on YouTube because of all the heat it's been getting. Whether I mean, and by heat, I mean just attention, right? This is good heat. This is good for the server. All that attention being said. Turtle WoW has been pretty resilient. They are no stranger to getting all a lot of attention from other people outside just the small private server community. So this isn't anything new to them, so they've probably taken precautions by taking down the YouTube video and just keeping it on their website. Now, it remains to be said whether Turtle WoW will be able to keep everything going the way it's been going as if everything's normal after all this attention, right? There is an impending 
Doom with Blizzard ever looming their presence going, well, you can't compete with our season of Discovery. Like, I mean, you just know Blizzard is frothing at the mouth right now. Yeah, right? I mean, I mean, how could they not be with the amazing technical marvel that this server is looking to do? So, honestly, good on Turtle Wow. And not to mention, they already have a bunch of class changes and everything about Classic Wow people have been wanting with some slight changes. It's all in there. So this is a direct competition for Blizzard, unfortunately or fortunately, right? For Blizzard, it's probably unfortunately because they see this as a major threat to their business. So maybe this will light a fire under Blizzard's ass. Maybe this will get them thinking about the future and what they can do to push WoW forward innovation wise, because it needs to be said that Classic WoW, you know, SOD is fun for a little while, but it really just isn't a whole lot there. It's basically classic with retail abilities. Let's be honest. So will Turtle WoW come out the other side of this and actually be able to launch this without any threat from Blizzard taking them down with a cease and desist? You know, if, they're, if this server is being hosted in a different country outside the US, then it might be possible. Or will this force Blizzard to talk with Turtle WoW's dev team and we have another Nostralis 2.0 situation where they talk between the communities and they go, they go, hey, this is what the community really wants. Let's put more effort into our actual games, into our actual classic WoW audience. So there's a lot that could go on from this. There's a lot to be seen. And I'm very excited for the future of the private server community. So that's all I've got for this video. I just wanted to make a breakdown of this uh, really big announcement. Uh, if you are into private server stuff, if you like all that, then feel free to hit that like and sub button. I play all the private servers, but mostly I play Ascension WoW. If you haven't heard of it, go check it out. Amazing server. And I will see you all in the next video.